align yourself with the universal laws. If you uh, create this emotional memory of, of having the you know, 100,000 months or even seven figure months, okay, you will have them in your life. So it's not that it's, it's not free lunch. The problem is being able to emotionally connect with six figure months or seven figure months. Welcome, welcome. This is Girl Khan, your money mindset expert. And today's topic is going to be all around emotional memory and your ability to create wealth. So what we've spoken about the four money mindsets already and we've talked about why they're, why your mindset's important in order for you to create wealth. Making money is one thing, but, but creating wealth is another. Now, the second topic is just as important and that's around emotional memory. Now, I know everyone here has probably heard about muscle memory, your other memory, your cognitive memory, your long-term memory, your short-term memory, but there's one concept that isn't spoken about enough especially when it comes to manifestation when it comes to creating your wealth and actually creating desires in any sphere at all and that is emotional memory so if you should think about it right what are you actually creating when you when you're saying the affirmations again and again when you're trying to emotionalize and go on do your vision boards and everything else what are you trying to create you're trying to create an emotional memory and the stronger the emotional memory, the faster that manifestation shows up for you in your 3D world. So, you know, if it's so simple, why are most people struggling to have law of attraction work for them in their favor? And today, today's life hopefully should highlight that for you and uh, enable you to understand why you're blocked on where you are and why you need to focus more on your emotional memory but more to the fact, you know, why doesn't you, why are you able to build that emotional memory? What's stopping you from actually building it? So hopefully the next 20 minutes or so should be able to highlight that for you. All right, so let's start with this. Let me tell you where this concept came from initially, by the way. So this emotional memory came from, believe it or not, from the Karate Kid. So I don't know about you guys, but you know, I'm in my early 40s and when I was growing up, Karate Kid was one of the major movies. I love the Karate, the Karate Kid series. And, Recently, they've launched, um, you know, a, a, a Netflix series on it called Cobra Kai or whatever, and it just brought me back all the memories of, you know, wax on and wax off and so forth, right? And I remember as a child being fascinated, you know, why did that work? And when I was younger, it didn't, it, it, I didn't understand quite really why the concept was. I think I was about eight or nine when the movie came out, so I wasn't really that, um, you know, familiar with emotional memory or muscle memory actually in that, in that movie. But now it makes sense when you have built a mu um, muscle memory around it, you just automatically react without actually consciously thinking about it because your conscious mind is so small in comparison, right? So another same thing applies to emotional memory, okay? Every part of our cell has memories, right? We, we know that, okay? Um, you know, by, our muscles have memory, our cells have memory, not just our, our brain and our mind, but why not emotional memory, right? It also has emotional memory. So, and we we all know this, don't we? I mean, if you if you if you go into a kitchen and there's a familiar smell there, right? Uh, and you're like, oh, my mother used to bake cookies like that, or or cakes like that, or food like that. And it takes literally in a split second, you're you're in the past, and it's actually emotional memory. We think it's sensory, but it's actually not. It's actually emotional memory. But unfortunately, what's happening is so many people, and actually not so many, majority of the people trying to use law of attraction in their favor in order to create wealth and abundance and whatnot, are actually using it against themselves. How? Let me explain. For example, let's use the wax on and wax off example from Karate Kid, okay? Wax on, wax off, right? He didn't actually consciously understand how his body was reacting in that way. Make sense, right? Same way. If you are programmed to react or think or behave in a certain way, emotionally, you're going to respond to certain situations in a similar fashion. Make sense? And you don't know why you react that way. You think, oh, well, I don't want to move my hand this way. I don't want my hand that way. But unfortunately, because you've been programmed to think, feel in a certain way about a certain topic, it's beyond your control, beyond your conscious control. Make sense? So you actually have an unconscious emotional memory attached to scarcity. 
to sell, you know, to um, to lack of limitation. Or, you know, for example, if you have an emotional memory of, from something, for example, your parents had a loss, or they went bankrupt, or something, for example, in my life, I created my mother's exact life. How did I do that? Through emotional memory. Now, that emotional memory wasn't a conscious memory. It was a, it was an unconscious emotional memory, and therefore I created a complete replica of my mother's life at the exact same age. So in like my in my late thirties, I had two children. I was from a very educated background, like she was. Yet I was on welfare, and I was you know I went from riches to destitute really really rapidly, right? And my, my partner cheated on me, and even the girl was like 16 years younger than me, like the girl who my father married, the lady who my father married was 16 years younger than my mother. It was exact replica, right? So this is how fascinating this is. This is how amazing this is. And it blows me away that people don't understand how powerful the concept of emotional memory is. They they talk about affirmations, they talk about this, and it's it's funny to me that you can repeat a word again and again and again and if you're not creating emotional memory how the hell are you going to create in your life you're going to be it's like it's like just turning the wheels for the sake of it but nothing's coming out of the other end right so in order for you to create something from you know, using the law of attraction you have to use emotional memory now how do you do that the first thing is if you have emotional memory to something that you don't like or something that you, that's showing up in your life that you don't currently desire, but it keeps showing up, for example, bills. Let's have that, bills. So if you have an emotional memory you know, attachment to bills, the problem is until you clear that, your, the, the bills are going to carry on showing up. You know, there is a, the, you know, I remember that Bob Proctor put this thing and I, I found it really interesting. I think Bob Proctor is amazing, by the way. He said, if you walk in a room, you know, in, in, if it's dark, what do you do? You switch on the light. So his idea is don't focus on the, on the old, focus on the new. I agree to that to some extent. The problem is that's too simplistic as an idea because you have to actually detach from the old first. So the idea being, if it's dark, you know, the, you know, you have to work out where the switch is in the first place. Do you, you see what I mean, right? If it's dark, if it's so dark that you can't even see the switch, how are you going to how are you gonna turn the switch on? So the same way, if you have emotional memory of things which are, uh, you know, a sense of loss, a scarcity, um, your parents being bankrupt, or you, uh, you know, being in danger, whatever else, all these have in a detrimental impact on your finances, by the way. So the idea, if you were ever raped, or if you ever had a, a sort of a physical or sexual or mental abuse as a child, that would have a, detrim a detrimental impact on your, on your finances. If you um, had, a, if your parents had the lack, lack of scarcity mentality, that would have a, a direct impact on your finances. If you, if you lost a parent, a mother or a father, that would in turn have an impact on your finances. There are various things which have detrimental impact on your finances because of this emotional memory. And most people are trying to work things out logically, not emotionally. Does that make sense? Right? So the money blocks that I focus on, we actually focus on actually removing this attachment to this old emotional memory. And guess what? We create new ones. So the way I do this is, and I, this is, you know, you can find your way, but the system that I used is through something called energy clearing. So I do, what we do is energetically clear you of the old emotional traumas, old emotions. Basically, we, we clean, we're cleansing the plate and clearing out the emotional memory from the past, thereby cre creating a clean slate. And on that clean slate, then we go and manifest our, you know, our desires by creating new emotional memories for our desires. Does that make sense? Does that make sense, right? This is so simple, yet so lost on most people. And people, are, it really breaks my heart when I see people chasing their tail because what they haven't, uh, they understood is yes, you need to switch on the light. First, you need to find out where the switch is. And you won't find the switch until you let go of the old emotional trauma, right? So your money blocks are this, you know, so this become a buzzword. I've been, you know, I've been talking about this for, for years now, but now it's become the buzzword. Well, what are money blocks? Money blocks are pretty much your old emotional traumas. So emotional being the operative word here, old emotional traumas, which are trapped in your energy fields. And when you remove these emotional traumas, you're actually cleansing your energy. Then once you have a clear energy, then you create new emotional memories, 
which the solid no solid they are the more realistic they are the more vivid they are so the more the, the stronger that these this new emotional memories to your desires the stronger um you know and the, the faster your cre your creation will be for example if you are currently an entrepreneur and you're you know you know you have the skill set you know you have the you have the uh, ability and you know people around you who are less less skills than you less ability than you and are actually creating you know six figures seven I mean, seven figures businesses it means that you absolutely can do it too but if you're emotionally attached to the lack of scarcity to the idea that you know working um you know making money ha is hard work or making money is evil or any of the old old, old paradigms then you're going to really be chasing a tail in order to create your your new reality why because all the time what you'll be doing is you'll close what's called self-sabotage now i actually say this time and time again if you come if you listen to any of my podcasts or any of my other tradings i have said this time and time again there's no such thing as self uh, self-sabotage there's only self-preservation if your subconscious mind feels it's going to be in danger if this new reality shows up it will do whatever it can to stop you in your tracks and stop you from creating a new reality hence the self-sabotage right Self-sabotage is just your, your subconscious mind's idea of self-preservation. That's it, really simply put. So how do we get around that? Well, the first thing you need to do is actually train your mind, your subconscious mind, to let go of the old emotional memory of all the old things that you, that you no longer desire. And this requires work. Now, I find people, a lot of people, especially the go-getters, they'll do you know they'll do they'll attend 100 seminars they'll make 100 creatives they'll, they'll be they'll build pdfs and you know lead magnets and this funnel and that funnel and go on this training and instagram you know the new, new ig training and pinterest training and whatnot what they'll fail to do is work on the inner self they'll fail to actually let go of these old emotional memories and fail to create new emotional memories and thereby making their work 10 times harder and then, then they find themselves well i'm you know they're having a burnout or they find themselves stuck in the same situation or they get frustrated or they think things just don't work for me and they maybe taste a little bit of success and they fall back and they don't understand what's going on so i hope today's training is actually going to be able to highlight to you what is actually stopping you and why emotional memory is super super powerful emotional memory can be your super it can be your you know your your, your super weapon it's something that you need to actually understand and then start implementing to life very, very quickly. And it doesn't take that long to, you know, to start and to understand it. It's the implementation of it that's actually difficult. Now, everything I teach and everything I sort of stand by, I'm always talking about keeping things simple. I always believe there's power in simplicity. So my tools and my strategies are simple, yet it's not that simple to implement them in your life. This is where you need to work on yourself. This is where the discipline comes. So I, I always, I've, I've done recently done a podcast called there's no, there's no free lunch. And what I meant by that is, yes, if you align yourself with the universal laws, if you uh, create this emotional memory of, uh, of having the you know, 100,000 months or even seven figure months, okay, you will have them in your life so it's not that it's, it's not free lunch the problem is being able to emotionally connect with six figure months or seven figure months does that make sense and that's where the hard work is being put in if you think hard work means going and creating you know talking sending 100 emails to your email list and it's, you know making 100 funnels and staying up late nights and making ads and whatever whatever if that's your idea of hard work then you've got it backwards okay Hard work is actually the, the inner work first. If you've done the hard work on your inner self, the external work is not that hard, I promise you. You automatically, I'm not saying you don't have to take action, absolutely you have to take action, but what you'll find is when you've done the inner work, when you've created the emotional memory to the 100K a month or seven figure months, what you'll find is then, then you're able to take inspired action and do 20% of the work, which is going to get you 80% of the results. Does that make sense, right? So this is where emotional memory is so important. Now, a lot of people have difficulty visualization, with visualization, with, you know, that's where they have vision boards and, you know, whatever have you. One of the tools that I found very, very effective was group collective manifestations. 
So in my program, my mastermind, we always do what's called the group manifestation call. We do that every two weeks. And but I recommend you do that as well. Systematically, you know, sit down and emotionalize what it is that you desire. Albeit when you do it with the group collective energy, it's a lot more powerful. But even if you do it by yourself, it's still very powerful when you sit down and you actually emotionalize. Don't just visualize what you're going to do. You know, you need to emotionalize it, create emotional memories for what it is that you're trying to bring into this 3D world. When you have emotionally connected to your desires and have actually created an emotional memory first of having whatever it is that you want, you find that actually getting in your 3D world is like that, right? It's very easy. And you also almost, when you actually really truly emotionally connected to your desires in the spiritual realm, you almost, it becomes, a, it, it becomes a given, you know, you just know that it's going to happen. You just know that the, the expectation becomes so certain that you're, you definitely know that you're, you're, it's coming to you, that it's, it's happening, right? This is what's going, this is what's, uh, you know, this is what's coming in the 3D world. It may be tomorrow, it may be a week later, maybe in a few weeks, but it's up happening and it's coming. That is the power of emotional memory. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed today's training. I hope you got value from today's training as well. If you have and you want to learn more from me, I'm currently running my Millionaire Mindset Makeover Workshop. It's a phenomenal workshop. We've done it a number of times and every time it's, it's well, we say it's for five days, but we, it's a lot longer because it's five days and then we have a Q&A um, days and there's a, there's a masterclass on a Sunday as well. So don't miss out. It's a very, very, very low fee. We will be raising the, the fee for the, uh, for the workshop for the next round. So just, you know, all disclaimer and being very transparent at the moment. So the, there is a fee. Uh, the fee is only um, 10 pounds, which is American, um, which is Amer USD, $13 USD, so one three. So 13 USD dollars, in English pounds is 10 pounds, it's nine pound 99 pence, so that's ten, just under 10 pounds. And if you think about it for five days, it's like two pounds a day. It's very, very reasonable. And if you do join right now, you do get access to four amazing bonuses too. So the very first bonus is Million in the Mirror Meditation, which is uh, it's an amazing meditation of mine. Second bonus is uh, Cash Flow Cheat Sheet. And third bonus is going to be an energy clearing. And the fourth bonus is actually a full program, which is called The Seven Laws of Money. So I hope you will actually get value and come and join me in our Million in Mindset Makeover Workshop. I will be showing you my energy tools, specifically ones for mine, and with my model team so we'll do an energy clearing on day five which is on friday okay so it's my time's up i will speak to some of you very very soon until the next time we meet this is Gokhan signing off take care and bye for now